Well, good afternoon, y'all. It's currently morning when I'm doing this, but Joe decided it was going to be 1 o'clock when we released the video, so that's what we did. Um, I've got a review of a blender, um, which came, it was perfect, which I'm sure I'll chit-chat about that in the video. Um, I really needed one. I've been using that little teeny one, and it was working okay, but it was starting to get that smoky smell, so I knew it was, uh, knew it was starting to go out. So, this was perfect timing. I said it was Saturday morning. Yes, I worked Monday through Friday this week. I normally have my days scattered off throughout the week, but it was a weird week. And I tell you what, it kicked this weighty, weighty. It kicked me in my butt. Uh, um, I was like, what do you mean weighty? I know. I, I ended up with like almost 100,000 steps. So, not in one day for the whole week. Um, and I, I've worked five days in a row. Y'all know that. I've worked full time for a little bit. But like being on your feet on that concrete for that many days in a row can take a toll on you. And to, you know, to just to sprinkle a little, was it sprinkle? Sprinkles on top and whatnot anyway. Um, yeah, it's it's the week before, so it's always a little stressful anyway. That's why I got this popping up here. I found my tea tree oil. I found tea tree oil is the only thing that ever works for my fever blisters, which I don't get them very often anyway. Um, it's, they're triggered by stress, so, or the other stuff, so it's got a combination of both, but otherwise the week's been, the week's been okay, so Joe and I are just both enjoying being at home and, in, you know, being at the trailer. We haven't been here except in the evenings for just a little bit, and it's always, like, we're trying to get ready for the next day or trying to take showers, getting dinner, and it's rushing and all that other stuff so it's just nice i'd say we're going to sit around which i figure he will but i'm gonna paint my ceilings and do some laundry and clean my kitchen so i'd say that's just three things just three little things honestly my ceiling won't take too long that's a great part of this trailer it's super small so anyway yeah, really yeah. but it's just big enough for us isn't it all right, so I hope you guys enjoy this. I will try to have another one out next Saturday. I usually do pretty well to post when I say I'm going to post. Um, these are just going to be little random stuff. I don't have a review next week I, um, that I'm going to do or anything like that. So we'll just maybe do a day in the life or kind of do a chit chat or show you guys some something silly, something goofy. Uh, like I said, these Saturdays are going to be more personal. So if you're just here for the cleaning and the trailer and all that, then there you go. I think that's great. Um, I won't know anyway. I mean, unless, of course, you comment. But I just thought I'd give you guys a little bit more of a look into what goes on here, kind of things I do, kind of things I'm into, all that. But you guys, I mean, I kind of blurt that out during the videos anyway because we all know I have diarrhea of the mouth. But y'all like my my Walmart moo-moo? It's party, uh, party, isn't it? Okay, yeah, I got to go to Walmart again anyway. I did a pickup last night, and I forgot I was going to make beans and cornbread today, and I don't have any bacon. And I don't have any jalapenos, so I gotta go get both of those. Act like that's some big deal. Walmart's literally a mile down the road, so, and it's super in and out. All right, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, if you guys want to see something in particular, you got some good ideas, just post them down below. But um, I love you guys. Thank you all so much for coming back and watching my video, and hopefully we'll make this a regular thing Saturdays at 1 o'clock. All right, bye, y'all. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna do something a little different. I don't normally do stuff like this. I have a blender that I got um, that Smart Home, I think is the company, sent me. Um, I don't, I don't normally do like the stuff where they send you stuff to try out unless it's something I really want or I really need because then I feel like, like, I don't know, it'd just be kind of like me telling y'all about men's deodorant or something about that that doesn't really apply to me. Um, I really needed a new blender. Um, Jeremy has my old blender, which is the best blender I've ever had. It's a Ninja, and I've had it, oh gosh, we've had it for 11, almost 12 years. Still going great. So what I have now, you guys have seen in a couple videos a while back. Oh gosh, when I was at the other little trailer, I have one of these, I'll just show you guys. This little one from Walmart. Paid 15 bucks for it. It works great, but it's starting to wear out. But you know, for 15 bucks, what can you expect? So I really needed a blender. So this worked out well. Um, I'll put the link below. You can get them on Amazon. Uh, and then I think there's, I don't know. I don't know what else I have to put in here. I'm sure there's a code or something. If there is, I'll flash it across the screen. I'm just taking this step by step. 
Um, so anyway, yeah, I'm super excited. I'm also going to show you guys a shake that I've been making lately. Um, I, I am kind of into my health. I mean, I don't want to say like I'm an expert, but you guys have seen me throughout the, actually throughout the last three years. Um, I, I'm not going to say I diet, but, um, I try to eat healthy, try, relatively healthy. Um, I, I am aware of what I eat. I'm not going to say I'll watch it, but I am very aware of what I eat. And now, you know, I'm 41 and I can feel everything I eat. Um, if I eat sugar, it makes me drowsy. It makes my stomach hurt, especially if I eat stuff with a lot of wheat in it. I don't have a gluten intolerance. I'm not celiac or anything like that, but um, I've noticed like heavy processed foods really hurt my stomach, um, which sucks because I love to eat cookies for breakfast. I know that's ridiculous, but how much different is that than a donut? Which neither of those are good for you, but um, so, and Jeremy and I, we run a lot, um, we work out a lot, we actually just signed up for a uh, 5k, another 5k, we just finished the rim to rim, ridge to rim, I don't know, when we ran down the New River Gorge and then back up, um, I say we just finished it, it was actually a couple months ago, like two months ago, but do you guys hear that freaking beep? It's the oven, the oven cannot be fixed. Um, we've tried, looked into it, done all that stuff. So I promise you guys I'm getting a new oven here soon. This one's ridiculous. Um, well, actually, I'm getting Jeremy's old oven. And he's getting a new a new oven. Because um, it's struck me. I, I can't. It doesn't work. The oven doesn't work. But now it started this beep. The breaker went out the other day. And then when it reset. So now when you hear the beep. And it's constant. It never stops. And I really just need to unplug it. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to make this um, shake. I put... A scoop of protein, vanilla protein in it, and I'll show you guys while I'm doing it. Um, I do uh, two tablespoons of collagen peptides, which is supposed to be really good for your skin. Um, and then I do sh uh, sugar-free chai mix, um, like I dump it in. And then I use coconut milk. I love coconut milk. On a big coconut milk kick. I used to drink almond milk. Um, that wasn't really for health purposes. It was just because regular milk upsets my stomach, like... I can drink a little bit of it. Um, I can eat it in like, but like I've been eating pudding recently and then I can tell if I eat way too much of it, like, well, not too, way too much, but you know, too much dessert just to make me feel like kind of queasy. Um, so yeah. And then I put flaxseed in it. Um, this is not, I am not certified or anything and I'm not, don't, don't do anything based on my recommendation. I'm just telling you guys what I use. I use flaxseed. I'm going to try to be, um, a little discreet in what I explain for it, Ex explain why I use it. It's very great uh, fiber, source of fiber. Um, and I can tell when I take it and when I don't. Um, but be prepared if you've never had flaxseed for that purpose or if you ever have never had flaxseed in a while, be prepared. Maybe plan to, to stay at home unless you're comfortable, you know, public places. Just saying. I'm personally not. Um, I've learned that I have to be now. But um, yeah, with that, I can tell when I haven't taken it or when I haven't put it in. But I put about a tablespoon of that in my shake. So that sometimes I put Greek yogurt. It just depends. Um, sometimes it's just a little too much dairy for me. But yeah, so that's... Anyway, you guys will see when I put it in here. So we're going to get doing this. We're going to do this unboxing. And we're going to make the shake. I moved everything over here, so... If it looks like it's different, so that's why. All right, so it is currently Saturday, maybe? I don't even know what day it is. I worked all day. I am pooped. Absolutely pooped. Okay. Ooh, this is by Am's Chef. Am's Chef, Cam Chef. It is the silver gray model. It's 120 volts. Um, I am like, super excited for this I what I'm not excited I didn't buy one of these in the first place because like a stand-up a counter mixer I don't want anything else on my I don't want anything else on my countertop but I drink a shake just about every day and I tell you what this particular shake I think it's the collagens um, it makes me feel so freaking full like so full I almost the first time while I was taking too much too many collagens so oh okay I'm gonna put all this in here but this is the countertop blender yeah I'm not reading the instructions because you guys 
I might, I don't know, I just never read them. Probably should. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is one of those things, you little stabby things, so you can smush your stuff down. I love to make fruit smoothies. Um, I'll have to show you guys one of my fruit smoothies. I make a lot of protein shakes too. Ooh, this is nice. Super nice. nice. This is almost a little bit nicer than, uh, I'm not going to say it's nicer than my Ninja, but, oh, okay. I like this. I don't have this feature on my Ninja where this comes off because these things get so gross, but it seems like once you wash them, they're done and you can't ever get them back on the same. Look at this, you guys. So it holds up to eight cups, eight cups. Um, what I like about the little ninja that I have, it's a little, it's got the four or five different, or no, three different, um, containers. So, like, I had planned to buy one of those eventually, but a missed opportunity came up, so. I had to, uh, I had to jump on it. Ooh, that's super nice. Look at that, y'all. So I'm gonna wash this. Oh, you can't see me, you see my forehead. I'm gonna wash this and come back. Not like y'all are gonna come back, then I'll come back. But it's not like I won't be gone anyway. So. Okay, first things first. Almond milk. No, that's not almond milk, coconut milk. These are the collagen peptides that I use. Hey, I found Sam's has a really good deal on these right now, like super deal. So I thought you're supposed to be using this whole scoop. You're not, you're not. So that's why my stomach, stomach was killing me. But like I couldn't figure out why it was bothering me. So about, that's about how much I use. I would research it if you guys don't know too much about it, but it's mainly supposed to be good for your skin and your hair and your wrinkles and all that jazz. This is the protein brand that I use most of the time. Um, I have gotten some other ones. One Up is really good. They've got a strawberry crunch that, oh my gosh, is amazing. Um, I use that a lot when I work out, but it's, uh, like I said, I hadn't, just with everything being busy, I normally use a sugar-free one, but this was just the only one they had. And it's chai. If you, don't, if you guys have never had chai, I always think it tastes like pumpkin pie. I have a hard time finding chais and uh, anything like pumpkin pie flavored that actually tastes like pumpkin pie and that isn't like cinnamon. Because I don't want a lot of cinnamon. Like I know you gotta have cinnamon in your pumpkin pie, but I want that pumpkin pie flavor, like the cloves and stuff. Yeah, see this is a sugar-free one. And then, I'm gonna put some of this in there. This is plain Greek yogurt. Sometimes I use vanilla. I feel like I'm forgetting something. 
and then pour this back on top. It's got all these. Look at these, Jim Mama Sink. All these different options ice crush, smoothie, ice cream, juice. Okay, so start. Oh, probably help if I plugged it in. Okay, so all these options down here, you can make your own, um, it, it gives you a timer. Oh, that's super neat. Okay, you guys, so, so far I really like this. I guess here's the test. Try to pour it in a cup. Okay. Hold on, you guys, I gotta set... like you have to take the lid off. I don't know. Is that something? Is that a feature? I've not, I've never had one like this. Oh, well, apparently I'm drinking two shakes. Okay, so let's, I mean, it, it blended it all together. It tastes fantastic. It's a little foamy, but that's how it normally turns out. So, um, I put all the stuff down below. Um, Y'all go check it out. I think it's on sale, so I don't think there's a coupon. Yeah, I think it's just on sale on Amazon. Um, I mean, I'm impressed. I can't tell you guys how this holds up long term because I, this is literally the first time I've used it. Um, so, like I said, if you guys ever see me on here with a little paid promotion thing on it, I want you guys to know that I did it just because it's something that I was wanting to use and wanting to find out. You're not ever gonna see me on here doing something with something I don't care about or something I wouldn't use myself. Um, so, but if nothing else, it's my protein shake mix, collagen stuff. All right, I just spit all them. Oh, crap nuggets, you guys. Hold on a minute. I forgot my, I forgot my flaxseed. Girl needs a fiber. I definitely do. I think more of my issues just have to do with stress. And just, uh, this is what I use. I keep it in the refrigerator. You can get your flaxseed in different types of ways. My grandmother used to do hers with, um, cause I'm off tomorrow. She used to do flaxseed oil and she'd get it in that Bragg's amino acid and then she would make like this really good dressing. Really good salad dressing. Okay. Mm -hmm. It gives it, it doesn't have too much flavor. There's always like a little hint, a, a hint of um, like almost nutty, but it's not nutty. You would just have to try it to, to know what I mean. So uh, 
but you can get flaxseed, you can get flaxseed oil, you can get other stuff. Again, I'm not a nutritionist or a dietitian. I'm just telling you guys the things that, that work for me. Um, if you guys like more of this me interacting with the camera and talking and you guys see them face to face, let me know below. I'm kind of thinking about um, doing more, like maybe an extra video every two weeks or something kind of vlog style and talking. Uh, so I'm obviously really goofy and I'm not, I mean, I talk about serious stuff, but I don't ever really present it the serious way. So, um, I don't know if that's something you guys want to see more of this. Oh, my shirt Joe bought me because he knows mommy loves Halloween. Um, anyway, so, uh, yeah, you guys just let me know. So anyway, this is my chai, my vanilla chai protein shake. Um, and the Am Chef blender, again, it's linked below. Y'all saw me use it, made a great shake. I'll probably do another video or two just to kind of experiment with it. Um, maybe make, I wanna make some smoothies. Um, and then I think I'm gonna have Jeremy test it out because he likes to make smoothies too and he makes some really good ones. You can tell the difference between him and me when we make stuff. He's all serious about it and makes it, you know. But, okay, I have rambled on too long, you guys. I didn't mean for this to take so long. All right. No, not right there, but I had a trailer in that house. The little pointy building pit. Oh, and that one over there? Yeah. Mom, what? what would get you a really good video recording outside of of that mountain and outside 